This is Umar Ahmed for IFL TV in association with MTK Global. We're at a Matchroom Pest Conference and uh, a Frank Warren fight is here. How are you doing, Sam? I'm good, I'm good. I've got a load of friends boxing on the build as well, so I thought I'd come and show my support to them. Now, Sam, overnight you've become a celebrity, one of the biggest names in boxing. You were trending on Twitter. Uh, just talk to me about that fight and uh, firstly, the emotions you were feeling when you got put down. Yeah, I was just saying... Um I was like, Cause he, hasn't, he hasn't read the script, this kid. Like, what's he doing? He's not, this is not supposed to happen. But uh, no, I just went down heavy. And uh, I remember looking at my corner at Danny and thinking, what's going on? Like, what's happened? And uh, But re regrouped, got through the round, came out the second round, started boxing nice. And um, at the last 20 seconds of the second round, I get caught again, go down again. Less, less of a hard knockdown, but still, uh, as I went up on my knee, I was thinking, I'm four rounds down now. I'm going to have to win every round to, to, to be in a chance with this. And um, it, was, it was felt like an uphill climb, but I, I was ready for it. And yeah, got through all the way to the 10th round without landing any power shots, really, until that last shot. And it was just a piece of a shot I caught with. And uh, it was so sweet. Yeah, of course, I was going to come on to the, uh, to the knockout. We all saw the clip where he was showboating before. Was it even sweeter to actually knock him out after that? Definitely, because uh, it was frustrating because he was showboating, but he was also decent moving as well so I couldn't pin him down and um, I was just praying thinking just give me one shot let me land one shot on this lad and um, I waited till the last 15 seconds to get it but um, it doesn't matter when it comes but I, I got it and he paid the price for, for it and it made it more sweet just not just for me in there because I was relieved to get the win but the whole crowd erupted all, all my friends and family people I don't know in the venue was just unreal and uh, just the, the best moment of my life so far like in, in my career glad that <laughs> You did get put down, you've learned how to cope with that and then have a dramatic knockout. Only because obviously he's got people talking about you, but O'Hara Davis might think it's a slightly easier fight now. Yeah, definitely not, not glad, but I'm, I, I'm, I'm glad that I got the experience down now. Like you said, I've been down, I've got up and I came and won the fight um, and, and carried power all the way to the 10th round. But this fight was supposed to be my breakthrough fight to try and get me known to the public and in terms of that, it couldn't have gone any better. And um, yeah, People are going to be looking at this. My, my competitors are going to be looking, thinking, if, if he's been dropped by this kid, I can drop him, I can, I can beat him. So it makes them want to take a chance to fight me. People like O'Hara, big hits like O'Hara, Jack Catterall, or, or people I might fight in the, in the future. Um, more likely the fight will happen now because they're confident they could, they could get it, but they'll be mistaken. I can see you're a little bit marked up still. How is everything? Everything's good, uh, yeah. Uh, body's a bit, bit marked up, but um, it's the price I pay for, for that win. I'm, I'm ha more than happy to pay it. And as I mentioned, you were trending on Twitter. <laughs> How does it sort of feel when you go on your timeline? You're everywhere on it. Insane. And uh, yeah, I just don't know what to do with it. Like all these messages, it's trying to, re trying to reply to, try to them. Then as I'm replying to one, two, like 10 more will come. It's just crazy. And I, uh, I just don't know how to deal with it. But it, it's, it's, a good, it's a good feeling. It's a good problem to have, I guess. Well, listen, Sam, congratulations on an epic fight and a, and a brilliant knockout. And, uh, I'm sure you're going to be in some big fights now, whereas, as you said, Ohara Davis, Jack Catra, or whoever. Yeah, and ho looking firstly defending my um, WBO European title, hopefully in some time around June. And um, yeah, that's what I'm looking forward to. Actually, just one last one. What did Danny Vaughan have to say to you when he got dropped? I can't even. I can't remember. I'm probably concussed in the corner, but uh, yeah, let me think. Probably would have said, "What are you doing?" But uh, yeah, I just can't remember a thing. I remember just going. To, I remember after the fight, he was saying in the corner, I was smiling and. Um, Kept smiling. I was thinking, well, I don't remember that, but uh, yeah, I must have been concussed. <laughs> <laughs> on that, on that note, Sam Maxwell, thank you very much for coming to IFL TV, and we'll catch up soon.